A lot of central New Yorkers were disappointed with a green Christmas. Others were grateful for seeing green because seasonal work could continue. News Channel 9's Laura Aronson shows us how. I'm not a skier. I, you know, I'm a fence owner. I'd, I'd rather see my guys working all winter. In Syracuse, we're on pace for the second warmest December on record in over 100 years. This is great working weather. My guys will tell you they'd rather work in a day like this than working in 85 degree, you know, hot, you know, humid weather. A little rain today won't stop Butler Fence. However, typically around this time of year, they have to lay off about 40% of their seasonal employees. Butler Fence employs 35 people during their prime season, but Rick takes those layoffs he has to make personally each year. This time of the year, typically when you do have to do a massive layoffs, is just heartbreaking. So, I mean, I know every one of these guys. I know their families. I know their kids. I know, I know you know, we're, we're a family. So, um, so weather like this, honestly, I hope in the future is going to be a boom to Syracuse. Every little bit helps out nowadays. So, you know, just being able to stay working, you know, and, and, and keep, a, you know, some regular life going, um, you know, working seasonally has, you know, its challenges. Eric has been with the company for almost 20 years, and he's used to budgeting season to season. The past few years have been kind of mild, but, um, this one is, has been the, the nicest so far. Even though some central New Yorkers were hoping to see snow this holiday season, Eric, like many other seasonal workers, appreciate these conditions. You know, it's a pleasant surprise when this happens that, you know, allows us to work a little later in the year. In North Syracuse, Laura Aronson, News Channel 9. And in case you're wondering, we've had the least snowfall in Syracuse this December since 2011.